Hey, what's up everybody? It's Danielle Edwards. Yeah. Like I'm pretty dark, look street smart with some hustle. Dance, the realest realtor, your realest realtor. And today, I wanna to talk to you guys about apartment locating. See, there's levels in this real estate thing. You know, some people are more into being seller agents, which is, of course, when you're dealing with the client who's selling the house. Then you have people who are more into being buyer agent, which is when you're dealing with the client who's purchasing a house, right? But then you have the tenant agent who deals with um, clients who are doing rentals. Uh, some rent homes, some rent apartments. Um, I've been engaging with a lot of clients who are looking for apartments. So I've been playing a tenant agent, okay? And I just wanna let y'all know that experience is something else, okay? <laughs> Man, something else. But um, slow money is better than no money. You feel me? So <laughs> with the apartment locating, basically, you know, uh, I use apartment data and I will leave that link below this video. Speaking of, I need y'all to like, subscribe, comment, do all that great stuff, click the notification button so you guys can keep up with all of these videos that I'm dishing out and you can share them with other people who really need to hear this information. Dealing with the tenant clients, um, I'm using apartment data. And with apartment data, basically, it's, it's a neat little um, website. It costs about $35 to get, well, no, I take that back. It, it costs 60 some odd dollars to get started. But to add a different region is an additional $35. I'm working the DFW, so I started off with that region. And I also had a friend who was looking for a place in Houston. So I went ahead and I purchased that region as well. So you go into this website and you get to put in your agent's information. You set up their file, right? And then they have like different lists uh, that you can set up during your apartment search. And you can mark favorites for the ones that you want to send uh, email to your clients or in my case I usually print them off so I can make calls and see if the apartment fits my um, clients description or their desire and I just do my little marks and narrow it down it's like a it's like a egg hunt or something it, it can be very tedious but the feeling is oh so good when you find your client um, a, a, an apartment that that they really like, you know. Um, hey, everyone's not ready to purchase a home, and I, I get that. And a lot of people are working on their credit, so apartment locating is like a really good place to start even for new agents because you're dealing with people who are working on their credit you're building relationships and possibly those um people who are looking for apartments will be looking for homes within the next year or two so um yeah i i, I really would advise anyone who's jumping into the real estate field to first start off with the apartment locating because you're getting all your experience with um, talking to your client, finding out what they need, how many bedrooms, how many baths, what location. Um, you're learning how to work through the transactions because there's still work that needs to be done. Not as heavy as with purchasing a home. There's, a, there's more of like contracts with apartments. It's not really a contract thing other than the tenant slash buyer contract between you and your client. But other than that, it's like, you just have to um, make sure that your client writes your name down, cause it's more like a referral thing. And you're only getting a certain percentage of the first month's rent and so forth and so on. So um, yeah, it's, 
not as, hmm, I don't wanna say use the word legal because it's still a legal thing, but it's not as heavy on the legal side. You kinda gotta chase your money down too <laughs> because it's a referral thing and you're kind of doing business with the um, apartment, not necessarily the apartments, but the apartment management companies. And nowadays, most apartments aren't private owned. They, they have a corporate office. And so you're dealing with them more so, trying to get your funds. And like they say, it can take up to two, three, four, five months before you get your commission. So, you know, that, that's the downside. That's the negative. The positive is I feel like it's just a good place for new agents to start to get their feet wet, warm up a little bit, get more referrals, get more people in your pipeline. Like it's a good place to start and definitely a good place for uh, future buyers to start because everyone, like I said, is not ready to purchase a home. So let's get you into a good apartment and get you with a mortgage lender or someone who can help repair and build your credit. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, that's it with that. I just wanted to kind of break it down to you guys. Um, my take on apartment locating. Um, just imagine if you locating five to six people a month, you know, and you're getting uh, 50 to 100% of their first month rent, depending on how much you know their rent is gonna be, you can make some decent change. It's good side money, you know? And in real estate, I feel like you shouldn't pick one lane. Me personally, I'm gonna be doing apartment locating, uh, helping people purchase homes, also going into the flipping side of things, and yeah, it's just endless routes in real estate. Okay guys, thanks for watching and please don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Dynasty Realty Group.